Ciproterin, also known by its developmental code name Shish80881, is a steroidal antiandrogen which was studied in the 1960s and 1970s but was never introduced for medical use. It is an analog of ciproterin acetate, CPA, an antiandrogen, progestin, and antigonadotropin which was introduced instead of ciproterin and is widely used as a medication. Ciproterin and CPA were among the first antiandrogens to be developed. It is important to clarify that the term ciproterin is often used as a synonym and shorthand for ciproterin acetate, and when the term occurs, what is almost always being referred to is, confusingly, CPA and not actually ciproterin. Ciproterin itself, unlike CPA, was never introduced for medical use and hence is not available as a medication. Pharmacology Pharmacodynamics Antiandrogenic activity Ciproterin is a potent antiandrogen, similarly to CPA. However, it has approximately three-fold lower potency as an antagonist of the androgen receptor, R, relative to CPA. Like CPA, ciproterin is actually a weak partial agonist of the R, and hence has the potential for both antiandrogenic and androgenic activity in some contexts. Unlike CPA, which is a highly potent progestogen, ciproterin is a pure antiandrogen and is virtually devoid of progestogenic activity. As such, it is not an antigonadotropin, and is actually progonadotropic in males, increasing gonadotropin and testosterone levels due to inhibition of R-mediated negative feedback on the hypothalamic pituitary gonadal axis, due to its progonadotropic effects in males, unlike CPA, ciproterin has been found, in male rodents, to increase testicular weight, increase the total number of type A spermatogonia, increase the total number of Sertoli cells, hyperstimulate the Leydig cells, and to have almost no effect on sperm spermatogenesis. Conversely, it has also been reported for male rodents that spermiogenesis is inhibited and that accessory sexual gland weights e.g., prostate gland, seminal vesicles, and fertility were markedly reduced, although with rapid recovery from the changes upon cessation of treatment. In any case, the drug is said to not be an effective antispermatogenic agent, whereas CPA is effective. Also unlike CPA, due to its lack of progestogenic and antigonadotropic activity, ciproterin does not suppress ovulation in women. Other activities Both CPA and, to a smaller extent, ciproterin possess some weak glucocorticoid activity and suppress adrenal gland and spleen weight in animals, with CPA having about one-fifth the potency of prednisone in mice. Unlike CPA, ciproterin seems to show some inhibition of 17-beta-hydroxysteroid dehydrogenase and 5-alpha reductase in vitro. In contrast to CPA, ciproterin shows no affinity for opioid receptors. Chemistry Ciproterin, also known as 1-alpha, 2-alpha methylene 6-chloro-17-alpha-hydroxydelta-6 progesterone or as 1-alpha, 2-alpha methylene 6-chloro-17-alpha-hydroxypregna-4, 16-3,20-dione, is a synthetic pregnane steroid and a derivative of progesterone. It is the free alcohol or 17-alpha deacetylated analog of CPA. History Ciproterin, along with CPA, was first patented in 1962, with subsequent patents in 1963 and 1965. It was studied clinically between 1967 and 1972. Unlike CPA, the drug was never marketed for medical use. Ciproterin was the first pure antiandrogen to be developed, with other closely following examples of this class including the steroidal antiandrogens Benorder 1 and BOMT and the non-steroidal antiandrogen flutamide. Society and culture Generic names Ciproterin is the generic name of the drug and its in. It is also known by the developmental code names Shish80881 and Shish881. Research in clinical studies, ciproterin was found to be far less potent and effective as an antiandrogen than CPA, likely in significant part due to its lack of concomitant antigonadotropic action. Ciproterin was studied as a treatment for precocious puberty by Birick, 1970, 1971, but no significant improvement was observed. 
In men, 100 mg per day saproterin proved to be rather ineffective in treating acne, which was hypothesized to be related to its progonadotropic effects in males and counteraction of its antiandrogen activity. In women however, who have much lower levels of testosterone and in whom the drug has no progonadotropic activity, 100 to 200 mg per day oral saproterin was effective in reducing sebum production in all patients as early as 2 to 4 weeks following the start of treatment. In contrast, topical saproterin was far less effective and barely outperformed placebo. Another study showed disappointing results with 100 mg per day saproterin for reducing sebum production in women with hyperandrogenism. Similarly, the drug showed disappointing results in the treatment of hirsutism, with a distinct hair reduction occurring in only a limited percentage of cases. In the same study, the reduction of acne was better, but was clearly inferior to that produced by CPA, and only the improvement in severia was regarded as satisfactory. The addition of an oral contraceptive to saproterin resulted in a somewhat better improvement in acne and severia relative to saproterin alone. According to Jacobs, 1979, saproterin proved to be without clinical value for reasons that cannot be discussed here. In any case, saproterin has been well tolerated by patients in dosages of up to 300 mg per day. References Further reading A. Hughes, S. H. Hassan, G. W. Ortel, H. E. Voss, F. Bonner, F. Newman, H. Steinbeck, K. J. Graff, J. Brotherton, H. J. Horn, R. K. Wagner, 27 November 2013. Androgens II and Antiandrogens, Androgen II und Antiandrogen. Springer Science and Business Media pp. 241-545. ISBN 978-3-642-80859-3.